Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Clay with another video. In today's video, we back at the Mountain City Flea Market in Mountain City, Georgia. Whenever we out of town and we ever go by that flea market, like I said, I always stop if they're open. All right, so quick, it's a short video. I just made a real fast pass through there and done a short video, checked out some neat stuff, and I didn't buy but just a couple of items. But it's always fun to go look. You don't ever know what you're going to find. You're not going to find anything if you don't go and look. But we went and stopped by and looked. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. And share these videos. All that will help me out. Let's go take a look what all I found at this flea market. And make sure you stay till the end of the video. I'll show the items that I bought and how much they're worth. It'll surprise you. It may surprise you how much they are really worth. I only bought a couple of items, but they're pretty valuable. Back at the Mountain City Flea Market. Excuse my hair. See, that was the problem. It was so swollen. No, I'm not. You want to go out on a date? I 
have learned that this three notches on the bottom of that frying pan, that means it's a lodge. like to stop by this guy's booth he's always got a bunch of axes all kind of axes and hatchets and hammers all kind of old tools that's a neat old tool there that's a rare piece look how wide that blade is on that but all his stuff priced too high to resell it's for collectors to buy there he knows what he's got all this on his front is axes all the way down that front that's a neat piece right there but you see the price on it, 100 bucks. Axes, double bid axes. You got to know how many hundreds of axes he has there. And down this other side is all hatchets. All that's hatchets. You got a bunch of neat stuff. That's pretty right there. Can I pick it up? Mm, you can. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> sure is. There's this thing, whatever that is. And then there's this little hatchet right here. Pretty cool, thank you. We've got a lot of antique hammers here too. I've sold a lot of antique hammers in the past. I didn't even price these, everything else he's got high. Everything on this table here was uh, decently priced. I could have made money on some of this stuff here. That's another vintage lodge. It's got them three notches on the bottom. It was $15 or best offer. They probably would have took eight or $10 for it. But he has some decent stuff, all these antiques, $3 on them hammers. That's, that's a good price. $30 on them kettles. This was a pretty good table here. I was trying to see what brand this was and I couldn't ever figure out what that said it was indented there. I never did see it, but it was a $20 for this Dutch oven. Weren't a bad price. checked out these vintage suitcases. I love the way old vintage suitcases look and they sell good in my antique booth. I've sold a bunch of those type suitcases. And that's a nice piece of Southern pottery right there too, that butter churn. This booth right here is overpriced most of the time. Check out that price there, $85 for that six pack of Mount, uh, seven up bottles. I'm just videoing this pretty stuff. Thank you. 
This guy right here has always got some really, really rare pieces at his booth. He knows what he's got also. It's priced really, really high. But he's got some rare pieces. He's always got some very rare pieces of cast iron and some good pottery. I always like to stop and look at it. Some pretty pieces. I've sold a bunch of those. The frying pan with the three legs on it. Those are pretty cool. They sell good. I've sold several of those in the past. He's got some nice cast iron. All right. Uh, I'm not selling any pictures. I'm not taking a picture. I'm making a video. But don't sell it. That's the I won't. Yeah, I don't sell it. It's free. He's a man after your own heart, Mr. Carpenter. Free? Yeah. Here's a tackle box slap full of vintage lures. There's some nice ones in there. I didn't even price them, see what he wanted for it, but it was pretty cool to look at. Good morning, how you doing?
This guy right here, I've bought a lot of stuff from him over the years. He usually gives me a pretty good deal. He's always got some bottles, some pretty good bottles. And them mina buckets right there, I bought two of them, the one on each end. I didn't buy the one in the middle. He had $30 a piece on them, and he sold them to me for, or $29 a piece. He sold them to me for $20 a piece. And I hadn't even looked them up to see what they're worth, but I've sold a lot of old mina buckets over the years, and they always do pretty good. I'll just check them out on eBay and see what they're bringing, but... I like vintage fishing tackle of any kind, if I can get it at a right price. But this guy's always got some really nice stuff here. And this is where the video ends, right here. He's the last one I look at. Good, how you doing? Good. How's everything been going at the flea market here? Well, here's the two items that I bought, two mana buckets. I looked them up on eBay and found some that uh, are just like them. You see how what his price was, $29. He sold them to him for $20 a piece. Let's go look at this first one. Look, this here's pretty neat. Let's listen. Uh, Still got the lid on it. This thing's old, pretty scarce piece. And this right here is where you can pump air into your in your live bait. That's pretty cool. It's got a wood handle. It's got it's just cloth here, and there's writing. I couldn't read that, so I started searching for this uh, mina bucket, and I typed in oval mina bucket to start with because it's oval shaped. Found some similar. And then I typed in vintage mental bucket with aerator. And I found one by typing that in. And this is one just like mine. This has got a uh, better, his is in better condition than mine is. But you see the price right there, 153. They just listed there. This is uh, a new listing. Let's look at the different photos of theirs. There is a lot better condition. Still got the paint. Their cloth cover is in better condition than mine. And you can read it. But that's pretty cool. $153 is what they're asking. I paid $20. So I believe I can make some money on it. The only one on eBay right now just like mine. They some some of the same brands on there, but let's see about the solds. No exact match. No exact match for the solds. Look at that, $137. And here's the second one that I bought. $29 what they was asking. This one is missing one of the latches. See the latch that holds the top on? It's missing over here. So that'll hurt the value of it. This one's got the name on the top of it here, embossed. Right there. And I looked this one up also. It was easy to find because it had the name on it. There's one just like mine. They asking 180 for that one, 130 for that one, 175, 187, 260. All those are just like mine. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a short video at this flea market. It was in a kind of a hurry, but I wanted to stop and look. I have another one or two more antique malls that we went in while we were out of town that I'm going to put videos on. There's some pretty neat stuff we saw in those antique malls and a couple of yard sales that I went to. But I'll catch you in the next video.